Hi everyone, today I'm joined by Dr. Philip Duncan, a cardiologist and the former chairman of the Association of Black Cardiologists. We're here today to discuss heart failure, a chronic health condition that affects six and a half million Americans, including my mom. Dr. Duncan, tell us about the Association of Black Cardiologists. Oh, sure. Thank you so much uh, for having me, Queen, and, and uh, thank you for allowing me to represent the Association of Black Cardiologists in this effort rising above heart failure. We're an organization who has the mission of uh, promoting um, the prevention and treatment of cardiovascular disease, um, including stroke in blacks and minorities. But more importantly, we believe that all people, regardless of race or ethnicity or gender should benefit equally from from our efforts to reduce the frequency and duration of impact of all diseases of the heart and blood vessels. How do we recognize signs and symptoms? Well, the the signs and, and symptoms of heart failure can, can often be confused or overlooked for, for something else. The most common initial symptom is easy fatigue that people will usually attribute to, to just getting older or, or being a little overweight or being out, out of shape. But the symptom that usually gets people people's attention is, is progressively worsening shortness of breath. They can also get swelling, lightheadedness or dizziness, uh, or even mental confusion. And what do we do if we notice something? What's really important is that when an individual or their loved one show any of these signs or symptoms, they, they seek appropriate medical attention. I see. Dr. Duncan, thank you and the Association of Black Cardiologists for helping those living with heart failure take charge and make the best of life. Thank you, Queen. Thank you for being a part of this effort because this is something that we all need to work on together to increase the public knowledge about this condition that affects so many 